Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, another episode of uh, Wizardry 7. And uh, we are exploring the Monk Rama Temple here. Uh, last time we solved the uh, bean puzzle, and we gained uh, 2,000 experience and got a little bit of gold. So uh, now we will uh, explore the uh, southern half of the uh, temple. And um, yeah, we'll go from there and see what happens. Because we can uh, finish exploring that temple, and then I'm assuming the uh, temple map that we got uh, a while ago will be of use somewhere in this uh, temple as well. So we will be uh, probably exploring that as well. So uh, hello there, Deviant Fish and uh, Jimmy Colorado. Welcome to the stream. And hello to everyone else who is uh, watching. All right, let me get my map out. Um, so the northern part of this temple is pretty much uh, all explored. So we just kind of want to explore the, uh, the uh, southern half. <laughs> so let's load our game in. I don't remember where I'm at exactly. Oh, I'm in the, uh, in the central room. So this is where we uh, pulled the lever for the uh, bean puzzle. And uh, we got the uh, beans in the right place. And um, yeah, so we got the 2,000 experience and I think like uh, each member, each person got like 200 uh, gold pieces. And nothing uh, spectacular. And uh, it opened up a uh, secret door. So we're gonna go to that secret door now. half of the map here. So there's some water up there, so we're gonna save our game here. We should be good here, we should be able to uh, cross this water. Waiting area, Pool of Monk Society. So yeah, that's uh... You enter the frigid waters. It is shallow enough to stand at the bottom of the pool, but you quickly begin to shiver. Um, let's practice swimming. We just saved it, so we should be okay. Trying to move rapidly builds up body heat. You flare and click and splash. <sighs> After a few moments, however, you decide to emerge before freezing. Now that was uh, interesting. Yeah, I don't have any fairy ninjas, I just have a uh, fairy mage. So, not sure uh, what exactly that's all about. I don't know if this is... Uh, it's always gonna happen. It's too freezing. Mm. So maybe that's just where we can build up our um, swimming skill. Which is uh, already pretty good. So we might as well just go around here and get that treasure chest that's on the other side. Oh, hello there, Will Taurus Score. Welcome to the stream. So there is a treasure chest on a some water here. So uh, let's uh, we'll save our game here. Probably should rest. Probably should rest. We gotta build up our stamina back up again. So 
So we got that, and let's uh, hop into the water here. So we have a chest here, so uh, let's save our game here. Yeah, so uh, I'm not very far into the game. Uh, we just completed the first uh, main dungeon, the Oak Work Ogre dungeon. And uh, currently in uh, Monk of Rama. So I uh, found the uh, temple map. And uh, so we'll just explore Monk of Rama here and um, we'll see what happens. So this is the uh, probably like the second dungeon. Second, you want to call this place a dungeon, it's not really a dungeon. Cause it's all outdoors, but yeah. Yes, uh, swimming is pretty deadly. I uh, leveled up my characters off stream, so um, so everybody should be around like forty or fifty swimming, so they won't die unless we swim a uh, great distance. Great distances. Yeah, Jimmy Colorado. Yes. Uh, I'll be saving a lot here. I mean, I saved a lot in uh, six. So far, I found six to be uh, a little bit more difficult than seven. So far, se seven has been uh, fairly nice to me. All right, so uh, let's uh, save our game and open this chest here. Whoops. Wrong button here. Cast a spell. A divine trap. So that's the song. So it's poison darts. So it's gonna be, that's gonna be the uh, one to open that. Whoops! So what will we do that? Hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. So let's uh, quit. Load the save game. Cause we do want to keep uh, building up Laura's uh, lock picking ability here. So let's uh, use a spell. Yeah, Alright, and then we're gonna have this on. So this is actually right. Magic sparks. So we got to make sure this is green. So we got green there. And we disarmed it. So we got an object. And some gold. And 1500 experience. We'll give it to Xena. Because Xena had the identify spell. The chapter timing in this game is uh, pretty neat. Um, uh, it took me a little bit to get used to uh, how it works since it's uh, a little more complicated than uh, most uh, lock picking in uh, other games. So that's quite uh, interesting. Uh, I want to see if I have enough magic here to cast uh, Identify. Or maybe... Maybe uh, Jesse can assess this. So I got 22, so we're not gonna have enough. So, alright, we need to uh, recast our um, direction spell here. So we want to head back east. Yeah, probably going to have to rest here again. Um. Oh, 
left here. Let's save our game. Because we need to get our stamina back up. So if we have a big fight, we'll have enough stamina to survive. There's left. There we go. Alright, save our game here again. And we have to cast the... Uh, the direction. So, I'm a little confused. I thought that... Uh, oh, we need to get out of this uh, area first. That's my issue. There we go. They're expecting a door. So let's go here, see what uh No more enemies here. Oh well, here we go. Uh we got some more moths. So we'll fight and oh we we'll use the uh loot, the uh we're looking here the uh, loot here. An Aperian Guard. Probably should have cast the uh, silence on these guys. But uh, we put him to sleep and that will work just fine. The little Mothra dies. Killed all these monsters. Alright, I got 20,750 XP. Oh, hey there, Spurious. Yes, I've been there and done that. Yes, Spurious. Yes, we uh, completed the bean puzzle last time, which wasn't too hard. So, I guess we're going to enter this building here. Oh, yeah, Brother Moses. Place, so let's uh, stop in and pay him a visit. Let's save our game before we enter. Shelves of crusty jars and dusty boxes line the walls inside the shop. And a stiff, acrid odor fills the air. A middle-aged monk looks up from the, some concatenation he is brewing and motions you to enter. Stepping up, your eyes feel a slight burning sensation, which makes him water apparently from the intensity of his mixture. <laughs> Nothing like a good cup of mustard bat tea, eh? Perhaps you'd be interested in a bottle or two. But no, I'd say by looking that you'd be wanting something a bit stronger than tea. <laughs> so let's have Gina talk to him. Uh, let's talk about the secret scroll. To find it, you must pass through the land of the dreams. The land of dreams? No, ye place where the dreamers go. Let's see, dreamers. Yeah, very fun experience. Yeah, the uh, bean puzzle wasn't too bad. I uh, wrote everything down on uh, which corner each of the uh, beans that I've tried. So when they're all white, I could scratch them out, and then I I knew that uh, those ones were not the correct. Uh, Beans in the right spot, and then just uh, trial and error. I think I got it after like uh, three or four attempts. So, 
Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about with you. But he'll become more important later on. Because I'm assuming I'm going to need more information from him once we enter the land of the dreams. Oh, land of the dreamers, what be thy name? Is that some sort of uh, puzzle there? Uh, I think so. Um. Whoops. Okay. When you know the place of the dreamers, I shall tell you more. Okay. So we, he will tell us more information once uh, we find the land of the, land of, uh, land of the dreams. Uh, say bye again. Why did do? So let's uh, sell some stuff. So Xena got a uh, whole new uh, new equipment there, so we can sell the old stuff. So let's trade. So we picked up the Crusader, Crusader helmet, chainmail plus one, and for the upper and lower part, we could sell that. So the best plate. So the leather helmet. Mm. And uh, I could probably sell this two handed axe since I am uh, using a sword. And I don't have any other fighters in my party, so we could sell that. Alright, yes. And. I think that's about it. Uh, what can we buy? Oh, we have uh, some potions here. Fairy dust. Moses Mojo tea. I probably should buy some of this stuff. I might as well. It might come in handy later. Ah, oh, hello there, uh, Pokemobile. Welcome to the uh, stream. Yeah, the graphics in this game are uh, not very nice. But uh, one thing that I noticed with the Wizardry game is that the music in Wizardry is uh, pretty, uh, pretty poor. Um, probably should buy some heavy stamina potions. Cause I'm gonna have to. Uh, Walk into a whole bunch of uh, water. So let's uh, let's buy some heavy stamina just in case. Just in case I need it. And since I have lots of money, I need to buy some cure poison. Maybe buy some heavy healing. And I think that's all I'll get. Uh, just in case we run into a whole bunch of uh, poison monsters, it's good to have. Uh, Poison potions on hand since I don't have uh, cure poison uh, cure poison yet. So okay. I don't know if anybody else has anything to sell. Alright, let's see here. Not sure if anybody else has anything anything good to sell yet. No. Uh, oh wow, you got 9,000 gold. I'm so rich. Uh, I got the 
simple map. Uh, I don't think anybody else had anything to. I don't think anybody else had anything to sell. Um, I just sold stuff when I was in town, so. Done here. Okay, so let's uh, let me get the. Uh, let's uh, continue exploring. The uh, temple here. I uh, wish it was inside the building, so let's get out. And let's uh, do some uh, potion management here. I know somebody else has a uh, few poison. Poison. Alright, and just in case, and I got heavy healing too. This. Uh, I think that's all. Yeah, unidentified potion here. So speaking of which, do I have enough magic? Okay, um. Uh, that's, uh. Rubber White Bear, special powers, unknown. Uh, I'll give this to Jesse. Users. Uh, yes. So the uh, rubber bear, when used, will uh, increase one creature's swimming ability by five points. Since I already upped everybody, so it really didn't matter who I put it on. So let's uh, let's see where we want to go. Let's go around the building here. See if anything's going on. Nothing's going on behind the building. Let's go south. Keep going south here. Let's go west. Let's save our game here. There's a button on the wall here. Open the secret door here. A 
part of Pedestal of Rock, there is a silver ocean. Uh, it's beige and better itself. Embedded within the rock itself. The urn is decorated with many designs and strange symbols and several similar runes have been engraved in the rock around it. Okay. Yes, I know put my bill, but uh not gonna waste the uh, magic points healing at this point. They can take a few more beatings. Take a few more beatings before I need to heal them. Besides, I just saved it, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, let's go and... Enter this one. Got some monks. Not sure which one of these are uh, the bad ones. Let's, uh, we're gonna go and attempt to use the loot here. Um, we we'll also cast a little bit of silence here. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Keep missing, that's good. But I'm missing too since I'm blind. We have dark forest monks. Ah, the monk ninja. No wonder why they're so tough. Fight, even though Dean is blind. I'll uh, try to put this guy to sleep again. And Jesse going to heal Zena. Let's do level five. And Tinky. Let's get a little fire going here. sleeping anyway. I'm more concerned. Oh, Shadow's dead. Shadow's dead. Try this again. Uh, 
Since uh, death, oh. since uh, resurrecting in this game will cost you one vitality, vitality point, and uh, you only have obviously you only have so much vitality, and uh, you don't want to uh, lose our characters. Yes, Pope Mobile, yeah. Maybe I could have healed him, but I don't think the outcome will probably have been the same. It will probably have been the same. Well, let's try, um... Yeah, Gina, he text something, of course. The secret wall here. Let's, um... We're gonna cast some spells. Enhanced blade and uh, with some armor plate here. Oh, you've got rangers this time, really? This is gonna be a pretty easy fight. Uh, we'll use the loot here. Um, yeah, we're good. Uh, they also uh, last a, a longer time, so um, so the higher the higher the level, the uh, longer the buff will last. And I find that the uh, enhanced tool doesn't last very long, so. left. Three of them are sleeping. And I typically cast full power mainly because um, won't, won't last uh, any fight is going to last a long time. And I'll have to reca keep, keep uh, recasting it. And I can always rest to uh, regain my uh, spell points back if I need to. And these ranges are pretty easy at this point in the game. Thousand XP. All right, there's another door here. Attached to the door is a half bath goblet, cupping a small slot in the door latch. All right, this is where we use another one of these coins that we got. You drop a coin into the half goblet. Another uh, level. So we got some more water. Uh, that's uh, Holy City of Monkavama. So this must be the exit out of uh, Monkorama. So uh, let's 
let's uh, continue. You know, this way looks like there's another, uh, looks like there's another puzzle here. That we'll probably have to eventually solve. Let's save our game. Ah, no enemies. Attached to the door, the half bath goblet, cupping a small slot in the door latch. Alright, this might be where we use the uh, last coin. You drop the coin into the half goblet. Alright, that's uh. Anything here? Ah, oh, there's a fight. Oh my god. Holy crap. This does have to be a hard fight. Um. Mad Warders, which I have no idea who those are. We have these Dark Forest Monks. And we have one Monk Ninja. And we have these four Monks, which we don't know what they are. Now let's fight the Warders. So I assume that you guys are stronger than the other ones. Well, we might die here. We might die here. Uh, let's use the, uh, loot on these unknowns. So, we're gonna do a spell here. Maybe level five. we do max level fireball. They cast me spells, blinding flash. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Alright, half of them are sleeping. Alright. Oh wow, just one hit point shy of uh, killing these guys. Oh crap. I don't have to rely on spells here. I think he's almost dead. I don't think he's dead. The uh, waters are hit pretty hard. But they don't seem to have much of a way of magic. and try this again. Uh, 
I might as well save it here. Okay. Now it looks like it's gonna be a tough fight here no matter what. Alright, that's um hmm. Ninjas, warders. Most annoying are the dark forest monks. But we're gonna fight the uh, warders here. We use the loot on the guy. They have 50% chance of uh, putting them to sleep. Silence them. Uh, let's get where he's going. Let's do max level. It's pretty nasty stuff. Jesse gag, so she's not gonna spell off. <laughs> and then uh, Ninja's gonna get a blinding flash. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hard fight. Users. And Shadow's dead. be difficult since uh, they can blind you which is the biggest problem with these guys I think I will um, we're gonna cast magic screen here that will uh, block some spells from uh, hitting my characters That should help us here. And I'm sure one of these groups is going to be the warders. And another one of these groups is going to be the dark monks. Let's fight the group of, th the group of three are probably the warders. And the group of five is probably the uh, dark monks. We got the shaman here gonna cast spells. We got the ninja that can cast spells. All these guys can cast spells. 
Um, we'll fight the first group here. Actually, on second thought, let's fight the second group. Uh, we're gonna use the loot on the shamans, which should work. And we're gonna do spell on the first group, we're gonna do silence. We do max level. And to help out with the uh, five monks here, we're gonna do a fireball here. Max level. Let's see how this works out. been reduced. See, this is why I got the cure poison. Oh crap. Uh, these guys are being hardcore. These guys are being hardcore. Half the shamans are sleeping. That's a good fireball casting. Again. But at least now I know I need to cast magic screen here. Probably will heal Tinky as well. So Tinky doesn't have uh, many hit points. So that will help as well. So that's uh seem to be okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, you got these UPNE Renegades, which I've never fought before. And one monk. Hmm. Let's fight the uh, Mad Warders here. Uh, we'll use the loot on this one monk, and I'm sure this one monk can cause me lots of problems. Um, we're gonna do silence here, and the spell on these renegade guys. I have no idea what they do. We're gonna foul ball them. Three of silence. Oh, these guys have a lot of hit points. Holy crap, they're still alive. Oh, 
Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, two waters left. Not affected. Shadow laughs hysterically. Survive one round, but let's. Uh, we'll have Zena fight the uh, Mad Warder, and everybody else is gonna get to take care of these uh, Renegades. Uh, Laura is gonna use the loot on this ninja here again. Jesse, maybe level twos. There's only one of them. And Tinky, just to help out, make sure this guy dies, we'll cast Chilling Touch. Oh, uh, he didn't have many hit points left. And the uh, ninja's asleep, run to mark, turn on comrades! Babbles and bones, uh... <laughs> oh no. Uh, my team gonna kill me. Same mine? No, we don't have same mine. Well, the choice here is uh, I guess we get healing is the best choice. Hopefully, I don't die. And you're in guard. <laughs> Monk Ninja. We can cast Sane Mine. Oh wow, that's expensive. That is expensive. Uh, let's just have four. XP. Got the book. And not to loot. Okay. I think we need the vest. We need the vest. Uh, before we do anything, let's save the game. Cast healing with what magic I got left. Oh, 
Kyobi, buddy. Xena oh, needs healed. Jesse needs healed. Okay, let's save our game, rest. Gain some of our magic back. Demented monks and five monks will go swinging at these guys here. We'll use the loot on these guys as well. I'm assuming these these are gonna be dark monks. And we'll use a spell here as well. Get some silence going. And uh, get some magic missile. Let's say level four maybe. Level five. Oh, maybe not. There's my high demented monks. Okay, I was wrong. These guys are uh, just all demented. So I wasted a bunch of magic here. be an easy fight anyway. Alright, let's fight these demented monks here. Oh, another demen demented monk's dead. Demented monk can't cast spells, so these guys are just spiders. Palace of the Grand Melnage, the land of the dreams. Okay, so this is the land of the dreams here. The lighting is low, seductively illuminating the inner chamber of the palace, and deep in the background you hear the enhancing melody of some string musical instrument, softly twanging as it Accompany the haunting singing of a flute. The den is quite immaculate and exquisite from the silky colored veils which hang from the ceiling to the many exotic fantasia of morals which adorn its pristine walls. Its atmosphere is sweet and perhaps a bit thick with the scented fragments of incense, though not all unpleasant. With mild surprise, you turn to see a quiet figure. <laughs> 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 
What is it that you seek? Um, I think when I say the land of dreams. Land of dreams. And those that cannot walk, and those that cannot walk the land of dreams. Um, no idea here. Uh, no idea. You are not yet ready to walk the land of the dreams. And we got kicked out. Alright, so we need to go back and uh, talk to uh, to uh, Brother Mozo here. Uh, we need to cast uh, Another fight here, huh? Cast a spell myself and uh, just more demented monks. These guys are all gonna die. Of course, they call them monsters and they still summon gold. That's how RPGs work. I could be an evil hero and kill everything and uh, except for anything that will gain me uh, more experience. Alright, let's kill these guys. Alright, got one more you guys left. Let's uh kill this last monk. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be killing a lot more of those uh, nasty guys once we get into the land of dreams. Exit. Oh, another fight. One Lieutenant Grunt Rapper. Enters negotiation. Looks pleased. See? where he's uh, located at. I need to go all the way back. Yeah, that's great name. Uh, great name in this game. Great monster artwork in this game. And let's go back here. Uh, 
Okay, let's uh, let's talk. Let's see, we talk about the land of dreams. Oh, land of dreamers, what be that name? I've been there. Maybe I need to put in that name of that place. That's gonna be, uh, what was that place called? The... The Grand Melange. That's gonna spell... It's the Grand... Melange, where is that? Um, M E L The Grand Melon, the Harbor of Dream, they say it is an invisible creature which lives secretly inside you. Dwelling in the hidden realms of your mind. And from, from it you respond all your dreams. To seek the grand marriage is to seek your inner dreams. If you ever find it, then your dreams will come true. That is where the legend ends. But there is more, more that that story never tells. In the moment thy dream becomes slack, the Grand Melody is freed from you, never to return. You will walk the land of dreams no more, and when mortal men can no longer dream, on that day they walk forevermore in the land of dreams. Gingerly, gingerly, go lightly. Though it does embark on the most dangerous game. Okay. All right. Don't mention it. I don't think he has anything else that I'm gonna want. I got some of that tea already, so. So for now, I think we're going to uh, explore the uh, water section of this temple and figure out the other puzzle. Ah, oh, thanks there, Will Taurus. Ah, uh, there's the map here. Can we just leave? Ah, there we go. Yeah, even though you just answered the question, um, rather finish exploring the, uh, the complex here before continuing on into the, uh, land of dreams. of water. We're going to do a lot of swimming here. Uh, we can go 
move straight north here. Let's save our game here. Yeah, he is stalking me. He is stalking me. So we need to... Let's go straight up. Uh, let's save our game here. And um, I'm gonna rest. I need to build my stamina back up. Save our game again. Well, we can always go talk to uh, Brother again if we uh, forget what we, where we need to go. Not too concerned about uh, taking notes. Standing at the statue, it appears more jewel than before. The stone looks fresh, as if it was carved only yesterday. Although a thick layer of rust around its base suggests that it has been here a long time, gazing up into the face of the majestic figure. You detect a faint smile and the eyes seem to almost twinkle. So I sing him. Scraping off the thick rust, you unearth a metal plate at the foot of the statue engraved as follows. Builder of the temple. Alright, so... Um, I do have that temple map. Uh, let's see here. The complexities of the light not to stack and disorient, and these shall know the turmoil of fear and uncertainty. He that has not foundation shall be wandering suffer, while he that has sanctuary shall know peace and stability. Discover thee the builder, that thee might light these eyes. For rooted in it, in he lies the knowledge of structure. From encircling waters, breath thee the works of stones. And thee make sacrifice, twixt all four corners. Thy labors shall not be in vain. For the opaque yielded from the stone will be transformed. And thee shall behold the lady, radiant light. Thus may, may one discover a haven, and a surely travel onward. Thus may one discover thyself, and a surely travel through life. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to find some stones and place them at the, uh, at the four corners. So we gotta find the stones first before we can actually, uh, solve this puzzle. Um... I wonder if uh, these stones are these four corners where the water's at. Hmm. Moths? Let's take fight these uh, glow moth. These guys can be a little nasty at times. I need to use the loot here. Um, we'll parry here. We'll parry here again. Oh, right, one moth's dead. And the 
Ihr im Mars oder das Ripping? Martha is dead. Alright, critical hit. Take that. Yeah, a ninja monk should uh, go up uh, pretty soon here. Because everybody else that I leveled up uh, yesterday. So, uh, we'll fight the one, and everybody else will take the second group. Oh, pay. Forty guys left. You guys are dead. Oh, wow, 6,000 XP for that, wow. Well, I mainly gotta do that because um, the uh, weapons that are available don't do much damage. I, mean, I do have darts. And I could give Jesse the quarter staff, but um, they don't do much damage, so it's almost pointless to invest any uh, effort into it. Alright, save it. Searching. Diving underwater, you find a jewel coin, hoon of solid amber, upon a surface which is carved of an image of the shining sun. So, got the amber coin. We will give these to the uh, friend here. So, well, I don't know which direction I'm facing. Let's uh, cast a spell. Let's cast a spell. No. We're facing north. Northeast. Okay, let's save our game. We can probably do one more here before we have to rest. Searching. Uh, diving underwater, you find a jewel coin hoon of solid ruby upon a surface of which is carved as a picture of a mystical urn. Alright. Got 
Uh... Uh, I don't want to attempt another run here. Don't want to attempt it. That's um, actually we could have a bunch of potions, but we'll just rest. Resting is easier. Okay, let's we'll save our game. Alright, diving in the water, you find a jewel coin, who knows solid diamond, upon the surface of which is carved the light likeness of a bearded and twinkling, disturbing, familiar face. You got a diamond coin? And one more to go. I'm glad I spent a lot of time leveling up swimming here. We're spending uh, quite a bit of time in the water here. Searching. Diving underwater, you find a jewel coin hung of solid emerald. Upon a surface of which is carved the symbol of a holy temple. Okay. So, um, I guess now we gotta put them at the four corners. So. Uh, I'm gonna need... Actually, we're probably gonna need the rest first. That's rest. Actually, let's see, does Yuna have, uh, they got some magic here. You can identify this book here, maybe. Uh, let's, uh... Uh... I'm not sure how uh, high, how high level these books are, so let's do high level casting here. I got a book of air pocket. Got three of them. We can give this to Tinky here. I'm not sure if she has that spell yet or not. Yeah, he has their pocket already. Laura. She doesn't have it. We can scratch. Alright. Now we have a pocket. See, I got some dogs. Okay, let's uh, save our game. And figure out what direction we're facing at the moment. Go here, the direction. I might as well cast level 2 since we're going to be resting a lot here. Oh, we're facing north, that's the direction I wanted to start with, so that's good. So, let's uh, go do a little swimming here. Let's go. So we have, uh, let's go here. Upon a pedestal of rock, there is a Bavarian urn that's based embedded 
within the rock itself. The owners decorated with many designs and strange symbols, and several similar runes have been engraved in the rock around it. Uh, I'm not sure which one I need to put here. I'm not sure if it matters or not. Uh, Amber? No effect. Okay, so you're gonna put the one, the right one in there. Trial and error here. Ruby. Probably gonna be the last one. Is that usually how these things work? Yeah, yes. You drop the jewel into the urn and watch it as it magically disappears. Alright. Upon a pedestal of rock, there is a golden urn at its base. Ah, gold. So that means that must be an amber urn. Its base embedded within the rock itself. The urn is decorated with many designs and chain symbols, and several similar runes have been engraved in the rock around it. So this might be the amber one. The amber coin. You drop the jewel into the urn and watch it as it magically disappears. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to walk in the water, that's nice. And... Upon a pedestal of rock, there is an... A cup rum on. It's based embedded within the rock itself. The urn is decorated with many designs and strange symbols and several similar runes have been engraved in the rock around it. Alright. Not sure what color that is. I don't want to say it'll be diamond. Nope. No, I watch it magically disappear. Alright, let's save our game here. Not sure if something bad's gonna happen. The silver urn is based embedded within the rock itself. The urn is decorated with many designs and chain symbols, and several similar runes have been engraved. In the rock around it. Okay, let's uh, drop the last one we have. You drop the jewel into the urn and watch as it magically disappears. Oh, I guess we go to the central piece. I need to rest before we uh, swim again. I don't drink rum. I think I might have seen rum once or twice. I'm sure it's probably clear. Uh, one thing about me, I do not drink alcohol at all. Mainly do because uh, I'm allergic to it. Alright, let's um, save our game. Save and resume. Alright, let's save our game before we get close to the statue. Standing at the statue, it appears more durable than before. The stone looks fresh as if it were out carved only yesterday. Although a thick layer of rust around the base suggests it has been here a long time. Gazing upon into the face of the majestic figure, you detect a faint smile and its eyes seem to almost twinkle. Do you need to detect something? Scraping out the thick rust you get out the metal plate at the foot of the statue engraved as follows. Builder of the Temple. Hmm. Okay. I uh, put the stones in place and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Um, look at the map here, see if I missed anything. Oh, 
I gotta do something with the statue here. Maybe I have something in my inventory? That's, uh. Whoops. Um. Uh, nothing there looks like what it would work on the statue. Okay. Oh, I have a moonstone. Looks like the other stone that we have. Maybe we can tie this. You hold the opaque stone up to the statue. The stone begins to shimmer. The eyes of the statue start to glow, and then there was a radiant flash of white light. You find yourself standing within a large grimy chamber. A cool steady breeze seems to provide a supply of fresh air. Throughout the area, although no visible source of the present wind is apparent. You can see no sign that would indicate the presence of a lurking inhabitant. Although this does not rule out the possibility. Oh crap. Oh god. Boy, these guys. So I got teleported somewhere. I gotta find the map for this area. Alright, let's see what we wanna do with these guys. Um, let's fight the ninjas, I guess. We might die here. I have no buffs. No buffs. Use the loot. I think maybe we'll get rid of these, uh... Alright, cast of the fireball here. Yeah, they were waiting for me here. Uh, two of them are affected. Uh, Kill the Rangers. Ooh, 50. 50. Damn it. Nice. I'm concerned about the ninjas here. If they start casting spells. Luckily, they didn't cast any spells. Oh, I got four monks. So we'll have Xena finish off the monk ninja. Flint and then the shadow. We'll take care of these four monks. 
I'm gonna keep using the loot here. God. Not affected. No, not blinding flash. Well, at least the unit's not affected. Yeah, Angel's tongue is blessed. Probably could cast that. What? Um. Too late for that though. Well, I guess we can still cast it. Uh, fight. Angel's tongue. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll be able to hit once or twice. Blind everybody. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I hate you. I'm gonna have to cast a spell to kill this guy. Oh, let's do some chilling touch. Unless I get lucky and I hit him. Of course, I get lucky and I hit him. Got 9,000 XP. Alright, we got another level up. Got increasing speed. And stamina. Five hit points. Skill bonus. Uh, we do pull one staff here. Put some more points into climbing. And carry Jitsu. No spells? Okay. Let's save our game. Rest here. Get our stamina back. And then I gotta figure out uh, which map we're on. Let's see if I can find this map here. Uh, the temple. So I'm not sure if this is an actual dungeon or if this is um Oh there it is, found it. Uh secret temple. So 
let's see where we want to go here. I guess we can go south first. Alright. Let's, uh... Cast some spells here, so I'm assuming that the uh, enemies on here are going to be pretty little nasty. I'll go blind and back, and then the battle will just go on and on and on forever. Uh, let's just do let's do level three, I guess. And one more play. So we'll go south. Let's go south first. Save our game. Oh, uh, we got two dragon lizards. These guys do hit hard. Um, I don't think so. I might have. I think uh, Loa might have it. But I think I think he has uh, blinding flash. That's what I have Laura for in a sleep spell. Um Alright, that's done. Yeah, those lizards can be quite nasty if they hit you. So let's go into this other uh looks like the empty room here. Well you can see the lizards on the uh Overhead map in the forest as well, not necessarily in this dungeon. So let's save our game here. Let's fight another battle here. Uh, what the hell do we have here? We got some three headed lions. Let's put the birds to sleep. They're probably spectral birds. And hmm. spells. I have no idea what these two-headed lions do. So we'll see what happens. Good one with the critical hit. And the blackbirds, one of the three are sleeping. I'm assuming these lions have a lot of hit points. Oh yeah. Get a critical hit. God, I love the criticals in this game. Oh, we have dragon rooks. So, we got some new creatures in here. Thank you. 
Are you sad? Milk doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh wow, I got a lot of XP for that. Holy crap. Now that line might be tough, but I got lucky and got two crits, so... Made the fight easy. Which of these seven seems to give out uh, a lot more uh, XP for the uh, fights? Alright, um, let's go north a little bit here. There's lots of doorways to explore here. Let's just uh, go all the way over here. Mm. Let's just keep going straight to the end of the hallway and we'll work our way back. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I don't like these guys. Because these guys can hurt your whole party. And I don't think they're affected by sleep. Let's, um... Um, I might try to use a angel's tongue here. Um, hmm. The side blades. It's the fire. I know these guys like a little fire. Oh, these guys have a lot of hit points too. Holy crap. Unaffected by my blades. Of course. Of course. Of course. Ah, oh, good old fire into the uh, crud. Works well. Oh god, I like the crits, man. I got lucky. So we got these two Pusic oozes. Alright. Oh, one left. I got lucky. They're not, uh, they didn't uh, throw the acid at my uh, party. This guy is pretty much dead. Alright, our ninja made another level. One personality. One piety. Uh, one vitality. Ah, one intelligence. Wow, lots of uh, boost up there. Oh, one strength. Nice. One speed. And stamina. And again, six hit points. That was a good level up. That was a good level up. Uh, let's do hands and feet here. Um, it's a 
climbing up. The all my living up has not been safe scummed. Unless I accidentally died afterwards. So I just roll with the punches here, with roll with the good and bad. So we'll get more kids this year here. So we'll save our game, since we got a new level up. Okay, keep going this way. Uh, better save you before I enter this room. Two-headed lion. We think we got this. Nice three sixty number seventy damage. Holy crap! I think we're still alive. <laughs> Oh wow, one of those lines give you 40, uh, 4,000 XP. Yeah, the more important thing with uh, Wizardry is getting your... Uh, ruling your characters right the first time. It makes a uh, bigger difference than the level ups do. Uh, I just moved. Uh, not you guys again. Oh. Oh, crap. This might be my end here. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I have any other attack spells. Cold monsters, maybe. And, uh, let's see, we got these creeping cruds. Let's have a little bit of ice in your, uh, in your life. I don't like ice. Oh, poison. This is what I was afraid of. This was what I was afraid of. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work very well. I'm a little worried about Laura. Now that Ooze is dead. Okay. 
Okay, got three and five. Uh, if I finish off these uh, putrid oozes here. Try casting using the uh, loot here. No, we do not have pure poison. We have our uh, potions if we need it. Um, actually, I can probably use a pure poison here. Jesse can heal. And they're out of magic pretty much, so it's gonna pay. Hello there, Amberzine. Welcome to the stream. Fighting a lot of uh, toxic oozes at the moment. Finish the scoop off here. Um, let's use another cure poison here on Flint. And Jesse will cast healing again on Flint. Five of these fungus oozes here. Uh, fungus aren't too bad. Two more left, we have this. We got this. <clears throat> well, that was a nasty fight. <laughs> Seven thousand XP for that. Uh, I'm gonna try to outrest the healing, uh, the uh, poison here. <clears throat> All right. So let's save our game. Oh, really? Oh, we got two uh, spirits here. I'm sure this guy can drain the stamina. Oh, that's so not good. And they're 
terrorize me, I'm sure. Yep. All the status ailments now. Alright, uh, let's keep fighting these guys. A creep cast, uh. Oh, I don't have this, it's Laura. We'll have her fight. We could cast the spell undead, but then we get no experience for it. So I won't do that. Let's just go. Ah, here we go. These guys are too, too tough. Alright, one more spirit left. Uh, I'll take a phone call, give me one second. Spirits. Uh, let's try the rest again. Let's just see if we can heal. Uh, and then rest some more. Alright, we got rid of the poison. Rest a little bit to get some of our, our uh, magic points back. Save and resume. Uh, let me um, let's get a map again. Oh, we don't have any keys yet. So we can't do that yet. Another one that I need a key for, don't have a key yet. Oh my god, the number of creepy cruds. So many cruds in this place. And we have no way out. We're stuck in here until we figure it out. And, uh, Laura, uh, we'll use the, uh, angel's tongue here, which, uh, grant us bless. I don't know, I never cast haste. Let's try casting haste. Not sure how much that will help us. And Tinky. Yes, these are some cruddy enemies. Let's cast a fireball in the second group. Fear will be resting a lot in this dungeon because we're using a lot more magic. All right.
Could it go to the head? We got one left. die get the ooze ooze out of him oh I got another 2700 experience nice oh I need to cast oh, another key Another key. Door with a lever on it. Uh, hold off on that. Um, let's go here. Save our game. And uh, let's enter this room. Gotta be kidding me. So many of these guys. So many of these creepy cruds. Angel's tongue. Old monsters. And uh, what do you got left? Get some ice. Yes. Oh, it fizzled. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Uh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. I saved it right before this, so um, we can always reload if things go bad. Ah, uh, funny experience. Can you keep up with the Kishadians? Oh, thanks for the follow there, uh, Winter's Q. Much appreciated. group we can try using the loot but it's probably not gonna put these guys to sleep um, let's see here we gotta heal Xena a little bit Magic missile. 
Okay. Oh, fungus is dead. Alright, these fungus users are dying. Okay, these are mutated, uh, mutated oozes. I guess they figured out the oozes in uh, Wizard of the Six were uh, too easy, so they, uh, buffed them up for, uh, Wizard of the Seven. Let's kill these crawling waste. Oops. And, uh... Use the loot. Why well, have the rest after this fight? Ah, oh, don't gag. <laughs> As you gag, you lose your turn. Which means you don't get to uh, attack uh, this farm. Everybody can be nauseous here. Yeah, monsters in uh, Wizard of the are all very strange. Wizard of the has probably the most unique monsters of any uh, RPG I played. Oh, you're gagging. You're not supposed to be gagging. <laughs> yes, and also some of the hardest ones as well. Comes with the territory. It's a slow going since I keep gagging. And if you gag, you lose your attack for the round. I could use a uh, cure light condition, but the spell is so expensive that it's almost pointless to use it since it only affects one person and not your entire team. So it's time, it's usually better just to deal with it. Ah, one more left. Uh, that didn't give me much experience. Uh, we'll have to rest too. Let's save our game. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, that's all ravens. We got these guys. Oh, 
Okay, these spectral ravens are gonna be dead. Ah, oh, thanks for the follow there, Touchy Fiend. Welcome to the stream. Alright. And welcome, uh, also welcome, uh, 39413. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you're frightening me. Yeah, you're dead. Alright, yeah, a little bit of XP for that. We're gonna have to rest some more. That's we should heal a little bit first. Let's see what this is, you know. Uh, let's heal a little bit more. I think uh, we are good here. So let's uh, rest some more. Hopefully, no more cruds. Oh, really? Can't rest here? Uh, two dragon lizards. Uh, that's gonna wake everybody up. And it hurts too. Oh, you gotta spread acid all over me. Oh, you guys are nasty. You guys are nasty. Everybody's awake now. So these guys should fall pretty fast. And I'm gonna got a healing magic here. Dragon Lizards are dead. Alright, we need to heal some more since uh, we got took a lot of damage in that last fight. Uh, Flint, you should be able to have some healing magic here too. That's gonna be good enough for you, so uh, let's rest again. I gain some of our magic back. That's gonna be good. Gonna have to work. Alright, we got into this room. Lots of fights. Let's see if there's anything in here. Looky, there's a button on the wall here. Alright, let's save our game before entering in here. Oh, we 
we got some spirits here. Let's all just uh, attack the first group here. Uh, sleep probably won't work on these guys, so let's just use the angel's tongue. Uh, we'll just guard here. Slow me. Oh, uh, you don't weaken me. That doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter much. Do a little bit less damage. Half the spirits are dead. Uh, we'll just focus on one spirit at a time. I didn't drain any stamina. I'm surprised. Candle scone pulls out from the wall. Very, very interesting. Alright, save our game here. Oh, there's a chest in here. There is a chest. I should be, yeah, I should uh, actually cast a rush in here. Uh, we can save our game. And we'll disarm another uh, chest here. So, it looks like to be that. Poison darts. Alright. We need to make sure that we get green and we'll unlock the chest. And if you get red, the chest will blow up in our face. So we can get another uh, yellow. And we disarmed it. We got a cross and a key. All right. OK. 
Okay, and uh, let's see if uh, Jesse can identify the key. Monk's key. Special. Alright. We'll give this to Shadow. Identify here. Identify this class. Class has protection. Light force 20% and paralysis 10%. If we have a little bit more magic left, we can identify this potion here. It's a poison bomb. Um, this guy, I'm on the path minus one. Let's see how to put this on. Yeah, the silver cloth is going to be better. But we might be able to give this to, um, Oh, uh, can't wear a ring. Oh man. Maybe we get us to, uh. Can't wear that. We have the shadow cloak on. And the bases of defense. They'll probably end up selling the cost of protection. But at least we got a key. I'll use the key here. I'm not sure if it's the right key. Let's see if it is. Nope. Not the right key. I wonder if it'll open uh, any of the uh, passageways that we uh, saw before. Right. We'll try it in the first one to see. If it doesn't work on that one, then um, oh, we can uh, hit this lever here. We pulled the lever, but nothing appears to be broken. Oh, we'll leave it alone for now. Let's see if we can uh, use the key here. If the key doesn't work here, then I assume that we need another key to open these other doors. Yeah. Let's go back. Uh, let's go west here. Save our game and enter this room. We got one spirit. Nah, easy fight. Easy fight here. Zena, and we'll identify that later because we're out of magic for that. We'll identify. All right, nothing else in here. game before we enter any doorways. Oh, let's follow this around. Okay. 
course it's not a fight here. Three ghost. We need to call the Ghostbusters. There's too many ghosts down here. Magic. That's not good. That is not good. Ah, oh, two more goes. Might as well just. Attack them. Oh, a shot to the head, and the ghost is dead. <laughs> Uh, some more, right? Yeah. Save our game. Ooh, there's a chest in here. Uh, I got three spirits here. Uh, let's try casting magic screen here. I have a feeling it's gonna fail. Since uh, Laura doesn't cast many spells. We'll see how that goes. this fight. This shouldn't be much of a problem. Much better than the uh, other oozers we were fighting. Alright, they're going to break in, they're going to cry again. the rest after this fight. Open this lock. 
Just here. Ah, oh, blew up. Oh, this is nasty. That was a nasty chest. Uh, that's the key must be what opened up all those uh, grates at the uh, north end of the temple. But we're gonna reload and uh, attempt to disarm this chest here. So open it. So this one might be a little bit more difficult than the other chest that we were looking at. Ah oh, man, I keep it the wrong. Oh, oh man, that's nasty. Yeah, let's try again. Load. We'll get it one of these times, maybe. Might be too difficult for me, might be too low level. Let's, uh, might have to use a knock knock spell. So we have uh, three. Stuck to all way. Oh, we got one. Oh, and yeah, blew up. This is a nasty chest. Nasty chest. This might take me a little bit here. Quite the nasty chest we got here. Uh, not necessarily, uh, Will. Obviously it has the uh, rest of the keys, which, uh, we'll need to open the other rooms. But, um, that maybe there's something in those rooms? I don't know. Ah, 45%. So there's two and possibly three. Tyana's bolt. Definitely Tyana's bolt. Ah, oh, I missed. No! He vitrified! Dies! Yeah. We'll try a couple more times and then I'll try using a knock spell on it. Uh, quit and save. Let's uh, open. So, one, two, and three. Probably. That's stuck to away again. No. 
Oh, it's gonna be anti-magic. Wow, this is a hard chest. Oh, got one. Alright. Oh, another yellow. Oh, got green. Oh, we might get lucky here. Or we might fail. Most likely fail. Oh, we disarmed it. Uh, I got scrolls and some potions and powders. Uh, we'll give him the Xena. We'll give this to Jesse. Maybe she might identify, be able to identify these. Uh, let's see. We'll give this to Shadow. Oh, wait, right. that was, uh. Ah, <sighs> nasty chest. I don't know, do I have enough magic? No, I have Well, I'll try. We can identify one scroll here. We can try identify one scroll. But if it's a high level uh, scroll, this would not work. I'm a play. Alright. Jesse here. Ah, oh, light wounds. Nice. Uh, she didn't have light wounds, so we'll put that to her. Failed. Failed. Okay. Save our game. Uh, cast some healing spells here. I actually do, I actually uh, am selling uh, most of the scrolls, unless they are resurrection. But the thing with this game is you cannot uh, merge uh, scrolls of the same type. So it kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Uh, oh, I think that's good enough. Let's save our game here and rest here. Some magic bath. Oh shit. Oh shit. All my fighters are sleeping. Let's try crush here. <laughs> Unaffected by the spell. Oh, sixty-two spell points down the drain. Down the drain. Oh, that hurts. And Flint's dead. Gee, 
Yep, we're dead. Wow. All right, we're gonna have to reload. So that's why I saved it. Okay, let's load again. Okay, I guess we can go back up and see if we can find anything in those uh, rusted uh, cells up in the top of the uh, temple here. Let's save. Of course, there might be a whole bunch of nothing up here. Let's see what these rusted keys uh, do for us here. So this might give us some bites. One monk! Alright, we can handle this. irritated me Searching. I right, might as well go ahead and uh, get the others opened up. All right, we need to use the uh, rusted keys here. monks so all the monks are hanging out all right that's uh we'll fight the first group um we might probably gonna use the uh angel's tongue here oh uh, jesse 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 um Old monsters here, maybe. Maybe do level four. And mm. stink bomb here. This is gonna be the end of me. Oh crap. Oh crap. Ah, oh, these men. These old men who can 
wreak havoc. Yep, and uh, shall I die because he was poisoned? So, um, uh, terminate. So, uh, this has been uh, Wizardry 7. Uh, we'll uh, wrap things up here. Um, I will uh, be continuing this uh, next Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. And uh, we will continue uh, exploring this temple here. And uh, finding out what all these monks are up to. Uh, my next stream will be uh, tonight. And uh, I will be streaming some more uh, Jag the Lion uh, Deadly Games. We are very close to the end. We're level we're on mission uh, 31 of 34. So we might beat it tonight, or we might uh, need another stream. So uh, we'll see how that goes tonight. Uh, last night I, I completed uh, two more missions. So there are three more missions left for me to complete. So we'll be doing that uh, starting tonight around uh, 7 p.m. I'll try to start earlier if I can. Um, and uh, that's about it. And uh, I'll be streaming some more uh, Giant Alliance uh, Friday night if I don't beat it uh, tonight. And if we do beat uh, Giant Alliance tonight, we will be starting our uh, playthrough of uh, Black Mirror 1. So uh, we'll be starting that uh, after we get done with Giant Alliance. And it will be a kind of a spooky game. So um, we will do that after we get done with our Giant Alliance. Uh, nope, no one else ran away with my money or my gear. So just Vinny just stole my money and gear and learned my lesson after that. So um, yeah, so let's uh, see who we can raid here. Raid, let's see who's on. Um, let's, uh, let's give, uh, Brax and Wise a raid. He's playing some, uh, The Longest Journey. So... So Hooks Innovate are bringing creatures from Wizardry into the world of the longest journey. So uh, thanks again everyone for coming and uh, hope to see you guys again tonight.